A message from Divine Justinia. Oh, shit. Are you alright? I'm pretty sure she's dead. It's a trap. It's dead a trap! You usually don't send messages. And I see you feel it necessary to inform me of this. This message was written months, perhaps even years ago, to be delivered to me if she died. I've heard of such contingency plans. A sudden death often leaves loose ends. I'm to go to Valence, a small village on the waking sea. There is something hidden there. Uh, what will you find? You know what you're looking for? The Divine was a powerful woman who used her position to obtain all sorts of things. Whatever she hid in Valence would very likely benefit the Inquisition and must be kept from falling into the wrong hands. If I'm lucky, she will have instructions for me. Oh shit. <laughs> I instruct you she doesn't. Whatever you need. So, you want to leave? Send someone else. Why Valence? Why hide things in Valence? What's so special about it? Justinia was revered mother at the Chantry there for many years before she became the Divine. It is a place that holds great meaning for her. Well, whatever you need, Lydia. I'll help in whatever way I can. Wonderful. I was hoping you would agree to come with me to Valence. One more thing. If what is hidden in Valence is as valuable as I think, we're not going to be the only ones looking for it. I shall meet you at the Chantry in Valence. Try not to delay. My dear, I know you must have a great deal on your mind right now, but I need to speak with you. You know as well as I how far the Inquisition's influence has spread, and how desperate the Grand Clerics have become. Our opinion will be instrumental in their election of the new Divine. What? I suspected as much. One of your own may be divine. Any advice on the subject? I will, that's unlikely. I thought that might be coming after the Grand Ball. The Inquisition may not be invited to their vote, but our actions will certainly influence the Grand Clerics. To sit on the Sunburst throne, a candidate should have grace, charm, and a will of solid steel. Cassandra may lack the first two, but unless you can think of someone better, she is the strongest choice. Oh, shit. What platform do you support? What would your ideal divine do with her power? The most important thing, of course, is the restoration of the Circles and the Templar Order. The institutions that have protected Thedas for ages must be rebuilt and the malcontents utterly crushed. We cannot allow anarchists to threaten the lives of the innocent. After we have restored sanity to the world, there will be time to address voices of dissent. Where else can, Where can we, we find candidates outside of the Chantry? There must be someone other than Liliana or Cassandra. The Chantry is already desperate. They would not look to unordained women if they had any choice. You may have better luck searching the halls of the Imperial Court. There are many women serving the Empire who have the necessary presence and acumen. Oh shit, now it's gonna get tough. Well, what about Liliana? Liliana might be a better choice than Cassandra, don't you think? Leliana is a well-meaning fool. She will do irreparable harm to countless people in the name of freedom. She proposes to abolish the circles with nothing but a solemn promise from mages not to murder children. When an angry mage lashes out inside a tower, villages aren't destroyed. The circle protects us all. Mages will die and take ordinary men with them in a war that cannot be won. Consider carefully, Inquisitor. Everything we do is a sign from the Maker to those who seek one. It's just as I remember it. You didn't tell me you'd been here before. After the blight ended, I came here to see Justinia. 
She was just Dorothea then, a revered mother. I didn't expect it to be so... deserted. It makes me uneasy. It's a small village, and it's too early for the chant. I'm sure the sisters are somewhere. Liliana? Is that you? Sister Natalie? What are you doing here? I thought you were in Val Rayo. No. I've been here since Justinia died. This place makes me feel like... like she's still with us. Inquisitor, this is Natalie. A trusted friend. Wait, Inquisitor? You... you brought the Inquisitor here? My lord, forgive me for not recognizing you earlier. You'll pay penance for that. <laughs> That's too funny. He readings of the Canticle of Trials for that insult. He doesn't mean it. Natalie, listen. There is something hidden here. Something Justinia left for me. Oh, really? What is it? I don't know, but we'll find it. I'm curious to see what brought us all here. Justinia's letter came with instructions for me. They were a little cryptic. Always remember that faith sprung from a barren branch, that light has no fear of darkness. Above all, that strength lives in an open heart. She must be hinting at something in here. Let's look around. Do they still sing verses from the Benedictions every Friday? That canticle was Justinia's favorite. Uh, yes, of course. We'd never give up the traditions of our most beloved divine. That is lovely to hear. I stare up at the breach sometimes. It's terrifying, but beautiful in its way. It is beautiful. Have you seen it by sunrise? When the sun rises through it, it splits into what looks like a thousand suns, like a broken mirror. Yes, spectacular, isn't it? You must be careful, Natalie. Justinia's enemies are making their move, vying for position and the sunburst throne. Looks like we opened something. Open the hidden chamber. Obviously it was here. Like I was saying, look, there's a place to talk from up there. Hey, baby. Sorry to keep you waiting. Liliana, stop. What are you doing? I'm protecting us. They never sing the benedictions here on Fridays, Natalie. Something so simple. And you got it so wrong. I wanted to believe, but you were lying from the start. Keep that pretty mouth shut if you must, dear. You've already told me everything I need to know. The prickleweed burrs on your hem, talking about the sun rising through the breach. It all points to a single place. Morel in the Dells, Grand Cleric Victoire's Bastion. She sent you, didn't she? Victoire was always an opportunist. Who is this Grand Cleric? I've never heard of her. An experienced cleric. She never agreed with Justinia, but kept her ideas to herself. I suppose now, with Justinia dead, she thought she could make her move. I want to know what this Grand Cleric planned here. She sent Natalie here to see what Justinia was hiding, no? The Inquisition has turned Thidas away from the true Chantry. It must be stopped. Stop us? He must be joking. Mother Victoire is well loved by many. The Inquisition has more enemies than you know. And Victoire thinks she can ally with them. Oh, brother, there goes me bread and butter. 
Join us, Natalie. You don't Natalie. have to be at odds, Natalie. You could come with us. Join the Inquisition. I was called to serve the Grand Cleric. I will not betray her. Kill me then. I am not afraid to die for my beliefs. At least I still know what I believe. All right, chat. What do we do? Do we kill her? Or do we let her go? Come on. Did Liliana kill the traitor at the beginning of the game? Uh, I don't remember Full Metal Jacket. Full Metal Jacket, that's funny. Full Metal. I don't remember. Off with her head. Hmm, tough choice. Nana Nap, welcome to the Chronicles of Uther. Nice to see you here. She must pay the iron price. All right, do me a favor. Hit one to kill her or two to let her go. I'm just going to add them up. And don't hit three, please. Let her go. She ain't a threat. She's feeble and old. She didn't look old woman. She had a hot mouth from what Liliana said. One. All right, Frankie's a one. Phoenix is a... Uh, Frankie's a two, she's a one. Bunch of ones for killer, for Nana. Nana Nop. Nap. Two. All right, we're tied at the moment. All right, number two has it so far. Give it another 20 seconds. Alright, so far we're leading on two. Alright, two it is. Let her go. We don't have to kill her. No. I must protect the Inquisition. She is an enemy. I see what you've become. The righteous stand before the darkness, and the Maker shall guide them. Oh! Oh! Oh, snap! No! This can't be it! There's nothing here! A uh, hidden body, maybe? Perhaps the box itself is a puzzle. She seemed the puzzling sort. No, it's just... it's just an empty box. There's a message carved in the lid. The left hand should lay down her burden. She... she's releasing me. The Divine has a long reach, but it is always her left hand that stretches out. A thousand lies, a thousand deaths. Her commands, but my conscience that bore the consequences. She apologized in the Fade. She said she failed you. This is what she meant. All this time, Justinia carried the fear that she was using me. Just like I'd been used in the past. But Marjolaine's games were trifles. Justinia gambled with the fate of nations. She needed me. No one else could have done what I did. She knows that. Then you have to let it go. Let her go. You don't owe her anything anymore. This? Now? After everything you've said and done? I hesitated with Butler. But you never did. You gave me confidence that killing him was the right answer. And my poor dear Natalie. I called her sister once, but I couldn't risk leaving her alive. Don't tell me to let it all go after all I've sacrificed to get here. Justinia tried to save me, but all it's done is made me realize I don't need saving. There is work to be done. I'll see you back at Skyhold. And Cleric Vitois is scrambling after loss of her agent. Good. Her support base is in morale. Tear it down. 
Grand Cleric Victoire wishes to make an enemy of the Inquisition. I'll give her what she wants. Doesn't Victoire have a young cousin? Lord Firmin? She dotes on him. Yes, mistress. I believe that is so. Good. Have him collected. He shall be an honored guest, and make sure the Grand Cleric hears about it. At your command. Uh, is everything all right? Harsh tactics with the Victoria. Is everything under control? Perfect. The Grand Cleric and others like her will fall in line soon enough. You see, when I'm ruthless, it gets us where we need to be. It's something to be proud of. Why fix it? How funny that her regret is what finally puts my own to rest. I chose to become her left hand, knowing what it meant. It was my weakness that stopped me from fully committing to my task. Well, I guess that's settled then. Well then, I suppose that's that. The Inquisition needs me just as the Divine did, to do what no one else dares. Death and deception are my trade. It is what I am. It is what I always will be.